The first case of chronic wasting disease for deer in Alabama was reported less than a week ago in Lauderdale County after a white-tailed deer was confirmed positive. And now state officials have placed new guidelines on hunting so they can accurately study and track the disease. News 19's Addison Woolman reports. Here at Florence Frozen Meats, hunters across North Alabama have been dropping off the heads of their deer to combat the spread of chronic wasting disease. Marianne Hudson with the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources says that the agency urges hunters to strictly follow the guidelines in the affected areas. So we're still tallying numbers of the samples that we've been collecting over the weekend. We have a lot of biologists out there collecting samples and a large number of very helpful, willing hunters who are assisting us in collecting samples from both the high risk zone and the buffer zone. Hunters who have submitted their deer can expect results after three to four weeks. Though the laboratory analysis involves a significant amount of scrutiny, the ADCNR is working to get the deer's results back to the hunters as quickly as possible. In Lauderdale County, Addison Wilman, News 19. And you can find details of the affected areas as well as a full list of guidelines for hunters within the CWD management zone by going to our website, whnt.com.